Matthews will be doing a special show from our NBC 26 studio live tonight starting at 6. And he joins us now. Welcome and thanks <laughs> for being here. Hi, how you doing? Well, we have to start with the big political story of the day. Donald Trump's campaign manager in trouble for allegedly grabbing a reporter. Will this hurt his campaign? Can anything really hurt his campaign? Of course it's going to hurt. I mean, the guy's been charged with a simple assault. And uh, I think he's going to have to be, you know, it's gonna probably a trial. This is serious business. And, uh, and it may fit into the image of Trump's campaign being a bullying operation. You don't know. It's, it's going to be used by his opponents, certainly. Really yeah. hard. It seems like he's definitely gotten away from with other things like this before. What could be different about this? Well, it's an image everybody can understand. It's also a woman in question who was uh, who was grabbed. I think that's the correct 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 word. But the fact is that this is an interesting thing, and I'm there. I can't remember the time, any time in all the years I've been watching politics, where a political operative has has been arrested for assault. I mean, it's against a reporter. I mean, it's just unique. There's been some roughing up at conventions of the past, of course, in 68 and 64, going way back by security people and perhaps by rowdy delegates. But for a, a political operative, a campaign manager to be charged like this, is, it's going to grab the headlines of all the major papers tomorrow going into this primary next Tuesday out here in Wisconsin. It's going to be a big deal, I think. Yeah, it'll be definitely interesting to watch. And on the Democratic side, the race has become kind of polarizing. Can Clinton and Sanders supporters come together behind one candidate, or will it kind of be a divisive decision? I think you got the right question because that answers it. I think it's going to be a very tough convention. Bernie Sanders is not giving up. He's going for the kill, and that means killing Hillary Clinton. He's going all the way. It's going to be a very tough fight the next couple weeks. If he can win here in Wisconsin, he sort of lives off the land. He wins the three states this weekend out west, Alaska, Hawaii, and the state of Washington. That's not the biggest states in the world, but they give him momentum. And then he wins here perhaps in Wisconsin. He can do that. And if he wins in Wisconsin, then he goes on to New York, where he challenges Hillary at home. Now, he grew up in Brooklyn. He has that, of course, Brooklyn accent. He has the roots there. This is going to be a really tough fight. I thought it had faded and that Hillary was getting ahead. Hillary's problem, Hillary Clinton's problem, is that once she gets ahead, she gets boring. She loses any kind of excitement. She says, I'm ahead, that's all I have to do. And for whatever reason, she's not provocative anymore. She doesn't excite people anymore. She just seems to sit on her lead. And every time she does that, it seems, Bernie Sanders comes along and takes advantage of that by being exciting. He's an ideologue. He has a big message, political revolution. Hillary Clinton's just trying to run as a regular Democrat and trying to get the nomination the regular way, and he's, he's trying to make history. It's going to be a tough fight from here to uh, Philadelphia in, in July. Well, it'll be fun to watch with Wisconsin's primary in the race of this. Now, it, it didn't seem that Wisconsin was going to make much of a difference. Now, how important will our delegates be? Well, you know, this goes back to when I started paying attention to politics, which is back in 60, when, when Kennedy won out here against Humphrey. Uh, this primary is really going to matter. It's re the answer, yes, it's going to really matter. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here, Chris. It was Thank great you. to talk to you about this.